student. Today we will do the first tutorial for a reactive process. So the question that we'll do in this video is the question number two in your tutorial file which I have uploaded in your e-learning. So the question uh, sounds like this. Ammonia is burned with oxygen producing nitric oxide and H2O. So it's question number two in your uh, tutorial folder. So the first question, it asks you to calculate the ratio power mole of O2 react over power mole of NO form. Okay. So before we start solving the question in your test or your exam, first of all, you must check the equation given to you. You must make sure that the equation given to, given to you is stoichiometrically balanced. So let's see. We have 4N uh, and then we have 4N here. We have 12H. We have 12H. We have 1010. We have 10O. We have 10O. So the equation given is stoichiometric rebalance. Okay, the question number one asks you to calculate the ratio of pi mole O to react divide by pi mole of an O form. So the the answer is easy, where we just take the stoichiometric ratio of O2, sto stoichiometric coefficient of O2 on the top, 5 pound mole of O2 react divide by how many pound mole? 4 pound mole of an O form. Since no unit are given for this equation, so we just can use this the, the 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 unit given in the question as the uh, to calculate your ratio. So this will be the answer of your first question here. The question, the second question says. If ammonia is fed to a continuous reactor at a rate of 100 kmol ammonia per hour, what oxygen feed rate kmol per hour would correspond to 40% excess of O2? Okay, it says ammonia is fed to the process reactor 100 kmol of ammonia. Okay, 100 kmol per hour of ammonia. And it doesn't mention anything else, it's just it wants us to find how many of O2 uh, is fed into the reactor and this O2 is given in terms of excess. That means in this process, O2 is excess reactant and it is excess by 40%. So remember, let's go, remember our excess, uh, fractional excess, uh, uh, percentage excess equation that we learned from a uh, previous uh, video. Percentage of excess equivalent to N feet minus N stoic. Okay? <clears throat> N stoic divide by Divide by N stock, right? So we add in percentage because this is percentage of excess equation. Uh, Alright, so since we already know in this question O2 is our excess and it says it's 40%. So 40% or if we change it into fractional excess, we will get 0 0.4, right? 0 0.4. Uh, 0 0.4 because we divide 40% to 100 so the equation maintain like the equation will be like this okay right the excess now here is O2 so we know we have excess of 40% but actually uh, in order to do this calculation we need to find how many mole of stoichiometric of O2 that goes into the process? So in order to find the stoichiometric mole of O2 that goes into the process, we have to use the limiting reactant ammonia basis. So in order to find this N stoic for O2, 
we have to do this calculation. Angstoid of O2 would be, we take this, 100 K mole of NH3 So now, we use the stoichiometric, uh, of, uh, stoichiometric ratio of O2 and NH3 to get the number of moles stoichiometric for O2. So here, we'll get 125 K mole of O2. This is the end stoic O2, yeah? So, if we have 100 K mole of ammonia, it goes into the process. Without excess O2, we only require 125 K mole of O2, which is our end stoic. So, we know now our end stoic is 125 K mole of O2 from this calculation. No now, but the question wants us to find the actual feed. That means end stoic that have end stoic plus the excess uh, end stoic uh, plus excess. So this is your end feed now. So your excess is 0 0.4. So now we can calculate how much is end feed which the which is the excess. So we know is it Zero point four equivalent to n feet minus one just now is one hundred twenty five divide by one hundred twenty five and your n feet O two you obtain one hundred seventy five k mole per hour. Okay. If 100 K mole reacts stoichiometrically, it only requires 100 K mole per hour of O2. However, 40% case, we have excess of 40%, therefore the actual feed that goes into the process that mixed with 100 K mole of ammonia is actually 175 K mole per hour. Okay? So now... So that is your answer for this question.